The vessel is the fate of the asylum seekers in the UK who passed many ebbs and flows in life as well as death passage and hopefully arrived in the human rights advocate European country. Now, Bibi Stockholm vessel in Portland port is the only hope the asylum seekers have for accommodation. This is the British style human rights show, a wavy life on the water with many dangers. The rooms in the three floor vessel formed by containers give them a sense of jail. News sources report most of the asylum seekers living in the Bibi vessel are Afghan who abandoned their country due to the demolition and lack of basics of living, a legacy of the U.S. and its allies, including the U.K. Peter Ford, the former British ambassador to Syria, maintains in an interview with Press TV website, What is inhumane is Britain's military and economic interventions in the countries from which most illegal migrants originate. Iraq, Syria, and Afghanistan, Britain caused these countries to become failed states with direct invasion, proxy war, and sanctions. Out of 50,000 refugees living in British hotels, 30,000 are supposed to be transferred to vessels and other places for accommodation. The UK government is going to transfer 500 refugees to Bibi's Stockholm vessel. The critics of the bill argue that the 222-room Bibi Stockholm is a floating jail for the accommodation of 500 refugees in which causes psychological damage to them. Criticisms of the British government's policy towards defenseless asylum seekers are wide-ranging, including the British Fire Brigade Union, which said in a statement, The government has already scraped vital fire safety measures for asylum seeker accommodation. Now it wants to put more than 500 people onto an offshore bark designed to hold around 200. A group of lawyers have joined the critics and are trying to prevent more asylum seekers from being transferred to the BB Stockholm vessel by taking legal action because they consider it unsafe. Still, despite the opposition to the transference of the refugees to the very floating jail, the British Minister of Migration, while threatening the critics, Robert Jenrick, told BBC Radio 4... Sure, uh, if they the do country, refuse. And so if you decline the accommodation that's provided, such as the barge, then y- y- we will consider removing your asylum support and that individual will then ultimately have to fend for themselves. They'd be destitute, in other words. The, well, we're not making anybody destitute there. They would be choosing to do so because they wouldn't accept the perfectly decent accommodation that's provided. That's, that's a very fair position. Britain's new policy taken for asylum seekers violates the existing law about them. The third article of the Convention of Refugees stipulates that governments are obliged to implement the provisions of the Convention without discrimination in terms of refugees' race, religion, or origin. Chapter 4 and Article 21st of the Convention addresses the well-being and comfort of refugees. The article says the issue of accommodation has been either set based on the laws and regulations or supervised by the governmental authorities, but the committed governments should treat refugees normally. The accommodation of the refugees on the water is the British government's irrational treatment of innocent people, a procedure and a dangerous heresy that turns the only hope of refugees for building a new life into a nightmare.